Hey guys, what's up? We got another NUPL playoff game here in SSNU. This time it's between JRDN and Enzo Gorlami, also known as Gunner. I'm gonna try to affirm as Enzo or Gunner in this battle. His old nickname is Gunner Rohan, so yeah, I know from that name. Like, um, both these guys are really creative and smart NU players I've seen over the last couple of years. Jaredin in particular has had success in tour like Smogon Snake Draft, where he did really well last year. And um, Gunner is just a great overall player. Um, I really, whenever I see him play, it's really interesting. So yeah, um, right off the bat, we see two Drampas, and this Pokemon is one of the hardest Pokemon to switch into in the metagame. Um, that's great. Um, Jared Yen's supporting cast with Grandpa is Wishy Washy, Toby Demaro, Sunfisk Galar, Rotom Fan, and Silvali. Um, looking at Silvali type, I think it's probably Silvali Dark, but it could be Poison or Dragon as well, so let's wait and see. Um, as for Enzo Gorlami's team, there's no Silvali, which shocks me. You very rarely see that, but. He has Un Pheasant, Grandpa, Gorgas, Quillfish, which is a cool Pokemon in my eyes, a lot of people who underappreciate it. Sunfisk Lara and Rotom Frost. Um, so yeah, looking at the matchup, it's really just going to be kind of a race to see who gets more kills with Grandpa first. Um, if Enzo's Grandpa, or sorry, if Jared Yen's Grandpa falls, then Rotom um, Fan is going to be really relied upon a ton to keep in check both the Un Pheasant um, if the Grandpa's taking the chip. Yeah, and more importantly, the Gorgas is. Gorgas is kind of held back by Drampa right now, so yeah. In addition to that, the fact that Quillfish is used here is cool for Spikes, but it's not great against Rotom Fan and Drampa. It enables both of them, so yeah. And last but not least, um, preservation of the Stuntus Galar and using the check is kind of crucial for both Drampas, but also against the present on Enzo's team. So yeah, we'll point and see how they make use of that. Let's get into the game now. Right after that, we're going to see lead Stunfisk versus lead Drampa. So Enzo's not falling around, and he um, goes, and Jared Enzo goes Wishy Wash predicting the Flamethrower, but Enzo predicts that and calls it and gets a Drago Meteor and it kills it from full health. So right off the bat, Enzo with a big lead, but now rocks are going to get up for sure for Jared Yen. As the Quillfish comes in to check the Stunfish and potentially get Spikes up. Um, yeah, he does go for Spikes as the Rotom Fan fr comes in. Now, presumably trying to full switch and oh, he will is trying to predict the Stunfish, but Grandpa comes in for Enzo, so potentially could pick up another kill. Um, both switch here. Is he going to go for a Flamethrower predicting the Stunfish? That's what I would do here. And yeah, he goes for a Flamethrower, and that's going to do a whole 66% after Spikes, so it leaves the Stunfisk at below a third health. That's huge. Now he's going to switch out, predicting the double switch into Drample. Wow, great play. So Enzo's on top of this game now. Toby DeMaro comes in here now, though, on a Blizzard. It's going to connect. It's going to be 39%. Okay. So I assume you just go for a Wisp here. Iron Head to 7. It's a Bandit Toby DeMaro. Wow. And he goes for a Nasty Plot. Uh, I think that was a little, little, little overly risky there for Enzo, seeing as he was in a really favorable position at this point. Um... I think Gunner um, probably just could have went for another attack, or maybe a Woolworth, or maybe even switched out to his Stunfist. But I think he didn't want to play overly defensively, so yeah, I think staying in was fine, but Blizzard might have been a little better. Um, because you don't risk like flinches or being banded. But yeah, um, now Jaredian trying to take advantage of like the Rotom switching out into Stunfist, he doubles to Dramp of his own. And yeah, that's kind of what I mean, like both trying to get the Dramp in a position well, so. All of a sudden, despite Enzo getting a huge lead early on in the game, Jared Yen's now coming back. He gets a clone of Rotom from Frost that pivots in that spotter to the Planethrower, and now Drampa from Enzo is back in, so that's going to be able to pick another kill here as a weakened Stunfist comes in on a Draco that picks out easily from 16%. Okay, so now we're in a 4-5 game, favoring Enzo has a 5 left. Togi is going to come in here now and take out the Drampa, so finally that's gone. Um, well, it's quite the headache for Jared Yen, to say the least, but yeah. Um, now, the Dramp up for Jared Yen is also going to come in the Stunfist, and he's probably just going to spam Flamethrower, as even the Quillfish is going to take a ton of damage despite resisting it. Um, Yawn from Enzo is a smart play. Um, it's going to at least force it to stay asleep. And Enzo, perhaps getting a bit greedy, doesn't go to Quillfish. He lets this um, Stunfist go. Honestly, it would have been nice to have that Rotom fan. We'll have to wait and see if that comes into play here. I think that Jared Yen has this in the bag now. Um, Nasty Plot is interesting, but yeah, despite having Moon Blast, which is cool, to break Drampa, Lord Drampa, you can't break the Rotom fan at full. It's a special attack that just isn't too high, and a special defense is even worse, I believe. It actually got a lot of physical defense, so Rotom Fan takes it out with one air slash. It might be offensive, I don't know, but Facade is the best move it can do with the Infezant, which takes it out, and yeah, it looks like there's no way Jared Yen's gonna fall here, so in a pretty brief 20 turn affair, it looks as a 21 turn, actually. Intimidate's gonna mean that's gonna live one. Um, it might actually kill this in return, yeah, and then Silvali, it was actually, yeah, Silvali Dragon. Okay, it's gonna take it out, and yeah, um, Jared Yen's gonna win a close 2 0 game. Um, Grandpa really did well here. See, I hope you guys enjoyed this. More NU content on the way. Let me know what you thought of the game, the team, and my narration in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, like. If you like what I'm putting on my channel, feel free to subscribe. Alright, peace guys. Have a great night.